You may enter. Cleopatra, my queen. I've, uh, come to check on you. See how you're feeling. Oh, um, uh, good evening. I don't recognize you. You must be a new servant. What is your name, please? I am Kianja. Kianja? Hmm. That's an interesting name. Where are you, uh, from? North of here, same as the others. Hmm. Uh, Ki. Ah. Kianja, all that can wait. Oh, yes, my queen, as you wish. Come, sit with me. Really? Are you sure? You do not, uh, wish to be alone? And, uh, why would I want to be alone? They, uh, told me about what's happened with Mark Antony and all the trouble in Rome, what they might be planning to do to you, to your children if you don't return. I'm so sorry for bringing it up, my queen. I, I just thought you might need some peace to yourself, to think. To think? And would you want to be alone at a time like this? Well, I suppose we all cope in different ways. Have you given any thought to what you might do? Well, I won't be surrendering if that's what you're asking. To be paraded like they did to my sister. Oh, no, no. If the triumph would please him so much, Octavian needs to exert a better effort. He thinks I'll just roll over and let him drag me through the streets of Rome in chains. Ooh, I see. Uh, could you imagine? I'm sorry, my queen. I, I'm just concerned. It must be hard, losing everything and everyone you love, one by one. Oh. At least you have the safety of oh, your palace here please. on this- Please, fix my hair and headdress, Kianja. I've been clawing at it all day. Oh, of course, let me see. This heat is absolutely exhausting. Here, sit next to me. Oh, Kianja, you look absolutely flushed. Oh, it's okay. Your cheeks are so red. It always happens shortly after I've eaten. Are you feeling all right? Oh, yes, my queen. Never better. You Thank see, you. Kianja, when you're a queen of a great kingdom, such as Egypt, sometimes you find yourself wedged in between the most impossible of places. You must make difficult decisions. You can't win every battle. I've lost plenty, as everyone knows. But I... I always have my children and their legacy to look forward to. I've always put them first. That's what it's all about. Family, don't you think? Yes, of course, my queen. Ah. You have a very light touch, Kianja. I appreciate that. Every other hand has been so heavy lately. Oh, <laughs> thank you. I, uh, I noticed a peculiar vial resting on your table. Hmm, yes. I've seen something like it before, in an apothecary in Rome. They say this particular shop is run by a poisoner. Please take care with that elixir, my queen. Oh, dear girl. <laughs> I don't want you to hurt yourself. Don't you worry about that vial. So, uh, do you have a family back home, Kianja? Any children of your own? I have raised a child, yes. A little boy named Akim. He's my little prince. Well, he's not so little anymore. Hmm, they grow up so fast, don't they? Hmm, some slower than others. Mm-hmm, so true. I have four myself, including a set of twins. I named one after the sun and the other after the moon. They're my world. Hmm, that's a lovely way to honor them. The sun and the moon, are they so different from each other? Yes, entirely. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> They've always insisted on their individuality and independence. There's a prophecy you know if you believe in that sort of thing that there will come a golden age of the Roman Empire. So I want my children ready for their succession and for whatever leads up to it. I miss them. 
Oh, they've left? Yes, I've had them all sent away. Things here in the kingdom are... very uncertain. Dangerous. <laughs> if... I may? I also worry about this... General, and how he insists that you return to Rome to face the people of the Empire. Do you not consider it? Perhaps it would be better than the alternative. Ah, you are very thoughtful, very forward, servant girl, and obviously unacquainted with the full matter. Is this your first time in the company of a queen? Uh, no. I've met many of royal blood. In fact, I've met quite a few pharaohs of Egypt. Uh, Kianja, your sarcasm is so unnecessary. No, it's true. Surely you must have heard of me through their stories. I've personally battled the lion goddess Sekhmet myself. So much blood. Mm -hmm. It was chaos. It was... Uh, divine. But, of course, that's ancient history. <laughs> <laughs> well, I... I wonder where the... other girls are. They usually come to check the fires by now. You haven't... seen them, have you? You know, you aren't as ruthless as they say you are. You're quite lovely, aren't you? They say you're a seductress, a user and a master manipulator who would bed anyone just to gain a cubit of power. They... him, you mean to say. Of course I am ambitious, yes. He fears me because I am educated and decisive. Have I conquered without missteps? No. But I am the protector and guardian of those I love and rule over. Present company included, Ki Anja. Please, do not create a falsehood that I have any other option but to stand my ground. He only wishes to speak with you in person. What if it can be ensured that you won't be paraded around as you think you Kianja, will be? Kianja, this is not the way of an African oh, queen. Oh, swallow your pride, woman. And as your queen, you will address me as such. Never again refer to me as anything outside of my title. Yes, my queen. It's not pride, Kianja. I think only of my children. What will become of them if I surrender? You have a son. Don't you do everything to make sure Akeem has the very best opportunities? Of course I do, my queen, but... That he wouldn't have to live in fear of oppression or being overthrown of his birthright? Yes, my queen, I just... And he's simply a servant's son. A mere commoner, of no import or stature. Imagine the terror you would feel if he were truly a little prince. His life and legitimacy up for debate at every turn. His throne challenged by victors ten times his might. Can't you understand? I will not return to Rome. It would be a betrayal, Kianja. I cannot betray myself, nor my children. I, uh, understand, my queen. And, uh, where are they now? Who? The children. The, uh, heirs of Egypt. They're... they're away. Hmm, I see. With family? Friends? Will they be, uh, returning soon? Kianja, do you respect me? Absolutely, my queen. Then be truthful. Are you a Roman spy? Has Octavian sent you? Has he sent you to kill me? I've already sent him letters. He knows where I stand. Kianja, please answer me. Where are the other servants? Have you done something to them? Kianja, I've asked you a question. Where are the other girls? Are they dead? Are they in league with you? Are they also spies? I am not a spy, Cleopatra. Nor am I a messenger. I... I am a bearer. And you... are the bounty. Now, you can come back to Rome with me willingly, or... No. Mark Antony made his choice. And I, too, have made my own decision. Do not drink that poison. Mm. Oh, you've wasted it. That was your answer? To leave the fate of your children to the will of the Empire. 
to lie down and hand over the vast and fertile lands of Egypt to the ever-devouring monster that is Rome? <laughs> that poison was intended for you, spy, and anyone else who comes for me. Just a drop of it upon you would have ended your life in the next breath. Oh, I think not. I, uh, die hard. Collect your effects. You're coming with me. Now. You don't know what it's like to be the head of a dynasty. A great bloodline. What it takes to keep everyone safe and fed. And under your control. No, dear girl. I will not give up my throne so easily. I... I choose to fight. Until my dying breath. I will give you one last chance to come with me. If you don't, you will never leave this room. It will become your final resting place sooner than you intended, I am sure. I am not to be trifled with, woman. Make no mistake, my bloodline is unmatched, unsullied, and it will reign, everlasting. Your bloodline will never live to see the end of mine. It was created long before you, and will remain long after you and your precious little kings and queen have perished. Kianja, your eyes. And my children will inherit everything the moonlight touches for all of time. Wait! Your eyes? Your teeth? Fangs? Dear gods, you're... you're a vampire. You are the devouring monster of which you speak, aren't you? How much is he paying you? I can give you more than you could ever imagine, Kianja. I cannot be bought. I do not do this for riches. Then why? Have you not considered the consequences? Why have you agreed to this? For my family. You wish to give your children a safe, coddled, perfect life. Well, my children require blood, and blood is a consequence of war. And as a mother, I will always provide. And these are the battles you chose to fight, underhandedly stamping out a whole regime in one night. Your diseased family is worth what's to come, all the strife it will invoke within the kingdoms. I would burn the world down for them, Queen Cleopatra. Well then, I shall be the wick, blooded mother. Come, ignite the fire. And once your work here with me is finished, I hope you come to see that I was right. Even if it takes you 100 years, you'll see I was right to lay down my life. So be it. Wait, please, just one request. Be quick. Will you tell them how much I love them? Tell them what happened. Who knows what horrible rumors they'll be told. And my daughter, she's always had me at her side. Please tell her that I'm always with her, in this life and the next. She'll find me in the sands, next to her father. <laughs>